Well, we spent some time yesterday looking at projectile motion when the launch point and the landing point were both the same elevation. We're going to generalize that trajectory path today, looking at the case where the launch point is at some sort of an advantage where it's elevated, or it's a different elevation than the landing point. Now the exposition of the projectile is usually fairly trivial to work out. There isn't any acceleration in the x direction. It's usually the y component of the motion that we're dealing with. This was the equation that we used to deal with projectiles that were launched and landing on the same elevation that they were delivered from. What we need to cope with now is this new elevation that's been introduced into our situation and we need to just tweak our equation a little bit and so what we're going to do is we're going to add this height we're going to add this initial height to our equation now it makes the equation just a little bit more difficult to work with but it's not an intractable situation in the first situation where I'm interested in the landing of the projectile my y distance is going to be zero and so this is going to make my equation fairly simple to deal with and so that's what my new formula looks like and what I need to do is solve it for any of those values that's not usually a problem you'll notice the only thing that becomes tricky is solving for t because t is a second degree variable however if you do get a problem where you're supposed to solve for t You'll notice there's a lot of similarity between this equation, which is our trajectory equation, and this equation, which is the generalized quadratic. And so you'll notice that my a can be given by 1 half g. Okay, so those two things are the same. My b value is shown here, and my c value is here. And so if I've got a problem where I need to solve for t, all I need to do is trot out my quadratic formula. Now, because I know you're sitting in front of a computer, I highly recommend that you program the quadratic formula into a spreadsheet so that you can solve any of these problems relatively quickly. Now, the second problem happens when I'm solving for t, but my height isn't zero anymore. So in, in other words, this situation where I'm asked to find a, a particular time when the height is given. And that means that my projectile equation isn't equal to zero. And so I can't use a quadratic formula, at least not right away. However, I am rather tricky and what I can do is I can take that original formula there and I can make it so that it's going to be equal to zero. And I can do that just by subtracting dy from both sides of the equation. At that point, I'm ready to use the quadratic formula. So there we go. All you have to do is figure out which one is a, which one is b, which one is c, and hopefully plop them into a spreadsheet. Good luck.